Greetings from Phnom Penh, Cambodia. As many of you know, all aspects of Cambodian life were torn apart during the four-year reign of terror of the Khmer Rouge. The young but growing Cambodian church at that time was all but decimated, and the fabric of Cambodian society was ripped apart, leaving deep, debilitating wounds. However, as we read in Isaiah 55, there is hope. The words and the plans of God will succeed and cannot be stopped. And so while the scars remain in this land, the lives of many Cambodians and the Cambodian church are now being rebuilt step by step. Deborah and I are thankful to have been a part of this rebuilding process since 1995, when God called us here to Cambodia as a newly married couple. Currently, Deb is serving at the Garden of Life Center, which trains professional Cambodian counselors and works to equip Cambodian trainers who will in turn raise up new Cambodian counselors. This ministry is the first of its kind in the country. For my part, I am serving at the Phnom Penh Bible School. The vision of the school is to provide the Cambodian church and the Christian community with leaders of sound character and the ability to serve by effectively teaching the Bible and by boldly proclaiming the gospel through words and action. Will you please join with us in praying for this land and for these new ministry leaders at the Garden of Life and at Phnom Penh Bible School? Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, Creator of heaven and earth, we pray that these new ministry leaders at the Phnom Penh Bible School and at the Garden of Life would receive the training that they need to boldly care for the people of Cambodia with the love of God and through the strength of the Holy Spirit and to help grow and build the church in their homeland, that all would have the opportunity to hear the name of Jesus. We pray, too, that they would faithfully follow your purpose in their lives and in their ministries. For we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.